Hi guys, welcome to a new video today. We are going to be exploring FIFA 06 Road to FIFA World Cup. Now this game came out in December of 2005. This was the first football game, if I'm not mistaken, on at least by EA uh, on the Xbox 360. And um, yeah, this is EA's first um, game on in high definition gaming that there ever was. Check this out right here, though, guys. Look at this. This is the best. If and again, if I'm not mistaken, the best ever arena that EA uh, made. And as you can see here, um, when the game first sort of loads up, you have to select a team. So I just obviously selected England, and um, yeah, you get to um, play in the arena here. And um, the one the one thing that I'm just going to say say here um, is that this game is pretty much just FIFA 06 um, but on the 360 and you know it can be played in sort of high definition and whatnot and yeah it, it, it the game plays exactly the same as you would play FIFA 06 on say PS2 PC you know even PSP you could say so um yeah that is pretty much it guys um so yeah, it, it's um, it, there's no club teams in it, um, it's just national teams, and the whole aim of this game is basically just qualifying for the World Cup. That's it guys, that is it. Just qualify qualifying for the World Cup is all this game is about. It's like EA saw a very small gap in the market. It's like here, the Xbox 360 is coming out, it's going to be HD and everything, you know. Let's get a football game out on there before anyone, and we'll be like awesome and stuff. But what the hell do we make it about? Oh, I know, the World Cup is coming up next year. Let's make it about qualifying for the World Cup. Well, you know what? It doesn't really make much sense because in the actual World Cup game, guys, and this is no word of a lie, in the actual World Cup game, you have to qualify anywhere. So, like, in the official 2006 World Cup game, you have to qualify anywhere. Anyway, I'm just going to go straight for it in this. Uh, I'm going to play England versus Germany because... Well, that's 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 about as much as I really want to do in this, uh, guys. Um, just do uh, you know? I like to show off games first before we get into any kind of mode. I've been playing it on semi pro because I've I haven't played this game, guys. I've only just recently picked it up and I've just started playing it, and um, it, it's it's good. You know what I mean? It, it's it, I I suppose at the time it wouldn't be too bad of a game to pick up. Uh, especially, you know, it came out in December 2005, so it wouldn't be a bad um, present for Christmas, I suppose. Um, you know, and you could actually play this game online too, so uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to go with default everything. If you're wondering about some of the ratings here, I'll just go through this. You know what I mean? we got like Gerard 89, Lampard 85, yeah, make what you will, guys. Bex is 86, uh, Rooney's 91, Owen 80. Uh, six. I think Rooney's the best on the team. We've got Sol Campbell here at 90 rated. Like, holy hell on a stick, guys. What is that all about? Um, who else is there? 18, you know, we've already... Yeah, John Terry's 90, Ferdinand. So, yeah, that's just a few of the ratings. Now, um, yeah, let's uh, let's go straight for it. And um, just before each game, and, you know, this would set the, set the way for future FIFA games. You know, when you're playing around, you know, when you're... I don't know, maybe you're playing a career mode or you're playing a um, just an exhibition or whatever. You actually get to go to the arena first while the game is actually loading up. The loading in this game, it, it, as you'll see, it does take a while here, guys. I'm not going to lie. It does take a while. Good save. Um, it, it, it's just, look, I mean, look at that. It did take quite a while there to load up. I mean, earlier when I was playing this game earlier, it felt like it was a lot quicker than that, to be honest. But... Um, yeah, um, this game, like I've said, what I've said already is pretty much the sum of it. You know, the only things that are a bit different is some of the interfaces are different. You know, you've got the new arena, and at the time that was, you know, that, that, when when I first saw the arena, I was like, well, this is actually really cool. Um, and I originally thought that the first arena uh, was in FIFA 07, but it's not. It's actually this game, guys. It was actually the f the first one was in um, in 2005, believe it or not. But um, at the time when the 360 was coming out, I didn't know anybody that actually owned one because I was I was in school at the time, and I don't even think any anybody I knew at school even got a 360 that Christmas because it came out so late. 
and it was quite expensive and whatnot and yeah the games like extortion and whatnot so yeah like for me i was still playing my fifa 06 on the ps2 and then when fifa 07 came out it did actually come out on the 360 apparently it wasn't as good we'll get into that eventually guys um because there's not a lot in that game as you'll see when i get around to it um but yeah fifa 07 did come out but this game was on the 360 first so yeah and um yeah i've been playing it and it's all right it's it, it's kind of hard to explain because it, it's it's basically FIFA 06 but it, it's like it, there's a few minor changes here and there and it, it's it is kind of hard to explain um you, you know it's, there's just a, a few minor little things here and there that just make this game a little bit different um to what it normally is in fact you know what i'm going to go ahead and do guys i'm going to show you the menu here so yeah you've got all this you pretty much know what that is match options blah 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 game settings now i think it's in here yeah we can change the camera i like to play it on telly actually uh, i'm going to tame the game uh sound effects down because it's set to max and you can barely hear the commentary um so i'm going to turn the commentary down but just keep it above um the game effects and whatnot and i think that's about the only thing i actually did to it it's kind of weird because you've got to use the um the left trigger button to actually if you like if you want to make like a, a a player to make a run after they pass you hold the left trigger and then you press a and usually i think like in in later fifa games they changed it so it's like the le left bumper and yeah i always play all my fifa games usually on the um the xbox guys i usually p used to play them you know um xbox and then xbox 360 when i got a 360 and then it's just kind of moved on to the xbox one in recent times um but yeah that's that's that um so yeah the, the gameplay is it, it, like i say it is fifa 06 but there is certain little things about it that are a little bit different there's, there's more cutscenes and whatnot you know no you will not find any club teams in this game um you've got like rest of the you've got thing you've got like rest of the world teams and, and stuff like that that you know what i mean it's all about just qualifying for the world cup i mean that, it, it's kind of almost nitpicking what EA have done to be honest it's like like i said earlier you know th they've looked for a gap in the market it's like oh we want our our brand we want our football game on the 360 first before anyone what are we going to do with it oh i know the world cup is coming up we're going to make it about qualifying for the world cup and then boom the actual official world cup game comes out and you have to qualify for the world cup on that game as well but we'll get to that in a later date and you know what ashley cole's just gonna kind of go for it here why not let's go for it um so yeah i i just i don't really know what to say to be honest guys oh it's a goal who was that he's actually goal what the hell call what was that and uh, in the cutscenes and stuff guys you, you can actually see a little bit of frame skipping so you know with it being one of those really early um games like because it's like a debut game with the 360 this at the time um with it being one of them them sort of games um you know it, it, it's kind of a bit of trial and error with it you know eventually they make ea would eventually go on to make their games run a lot smoother and work out all the bugs and kinks in them and whatnot so um yeah this is something i just want to bring up here as you can see there in the cutscene, you can actually if you press one of the uh directional buttons on, on the on the gamepad um, you can actually go through and make like quick subs and whatnot while it's in the cutscenes and, and stuff, which is really kind of nice. I kind of would love it if, and you actually get to see the managers there. Go on, Sven. Well, not go on, Sven, but you know what I mean. And you know, you know what I mean. You, um, it's really kind of nice that you could do that. It'd be really good in like, I mean, probably to in today's world, you know, when you've got the Xbox One and you've got the uh, the connect set up with it and you can just command it anytime you want and stuff like that that's pretty cool but this is actually kind of go cool and i don't know i don't i just kind of wish that they never really took that kind of thing out of the game as well so um yeah as you can see they have quick subs tactics and whatnot so you can change things around um and yeah it's 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 not too i've been practicing it guys it, it's not too bad of a game to be honest um, you know what I mean? I, I I wasn't really I didn't really know what to expect of this game when I first um, you know picked it up and and was fair because you know what I mean I actually I kind of had a look at this game before I actually uh, bought it and 
But yeah, it's been it's been ten years of this game, guys, and um, yeah, like me, ten years ago, I, ten years ago, guys, right now, as of this upload, I was just kind of I was just playing FIFA or six constantly, you know, and then PES five came out and. I was just kind of maybe playing some of that and just switching between the two, and that's kind of what I used to do back in the day, and then, then like FIFA 07 and um, PES 6 and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say, guys, other than other than that. Oh, of the bar! Um, so, yeah, got ticked, uh, kick takers formations as well there that you can do. Um, press the A on the D-pad for tactical changes. Um, so yeah, that's it, like, you know, and uh, the soundtrack, I just want to mention the soundtrack in the game is exactly the same as FIFA 06 uh, as well, so I thought, like, cause, like usually each FIFA game kind of has, like, a, a different soundtrack, but they just kept the same one in this, so, yeah, it's, um, oh my god, I thought that was going in, um, yeah, so, this game, guys, I do want, I do want, I would like to do a playthrough of this game, um, I think I do need a little bit more practice at it because um, I wasn't too far off that. Um, b because I think it might it might be a good one. It might be a little short mini series. Um, you know what I mean? But who knows? You know, if it's just about qualifying. You know what I mean? You do not get the final tournament or anything afterwards. You know what I mean? It's it's like it's kind of like uh, almost like a build up game. Maybe something to sort of almost promote the next World Cup game in a way keep people on the tours it's kind of weird though guys because EA at the time guys they had a lot they kind of had a lot going on they kind of had a lot going on because there was there was EA where they made obviously FIFA 06 and then that that came out in like what September 2005 uh, and then they had um, this game come out in December and then in I believe March 2006 but it was EA big uh, they released um, FIFA Street 2 which was actually a really good game. We'll get to that eventually, guys. And then, you know, then they had the World Cup game like a month later come out. And it's just like, it's kind of crazy how many games they had going on around that time. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, they had quite a, quite, it was quite a big sort of year for year and whatnot. So I guess you, you could almost say that maybe they were being a little bit selfish. Oh, go on, Owen. No, it's Rooney. He's not going to score. Oh, yeah, so in will do. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, you, you could say it was kind of a big year because, like, you know, years previous, you kind of had, like, you know, FIFA 2004, then you had, like, Euro 2004, FIFA 2005, then there was, like, a Champions League game, um, you know, and then, like, they had FIFA 06, and then just, you know, kind of a lot of games came on after that and whatnot. So, um,. Yeah, it's it, it's uh, it's a good game. This, um, it, it's kind of a filler game though, in a way. And like I say, you know, video games are meant to make money, guys. You know what I mean? So <laughs> they don't really serve any other purpose, do they? So you know, I can see what they're trying to were going going for there. Um, because I think it was yeah. I mean, because like the, you know, the following year, like uh, FIFA 06, no, sorry, FIFA 07 came out, and so did PES 6. And actually, Konami put PES 6 on the 360. Um, but I guess like you know, EA just sort of was just like you know what, let's get there first to this new console and whatnot. And um, but yeah, I don't think Konami's ever really been bothered about. Um, like being the first to do stuff. Oh, that's a pretty good goal. That actually, um, you know, on new consoles and whatnot. But like, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna bring up the debate between FIFA and PES and stuff like that. But um, like, you know, if if I, you know, back in the day, guys, right? If I'd got a, if I'd got a 360 and I'd got this game, you know, for Christmas in 2005, I would have been more than happy to be honest because it's not bad, you know my internet connection at that time wouldn't have been good enough guys honestly to have played it online but if you had a good connection i suppose it would have been pretty cool to have um you know i mean i'm wondering if i if you know there's people out there that still play this game guys and if they do maybe we can uh, fire up the uh, the online mode and maybe find some play people to play against possibly even though i'll probably be no good at it but yeah <laughs> um 
you know even just the arena guys you know what i mean i've had i've had i mean the arena's not as great in this game as it's been in other fifa games obviously because the arena is a lot you know the gameplay of fifa has changed in, in years obviously it changes every year and obviously it's a lot better um oh go on get in there off the post get in there i think i'm getting starting to get a little bit better at this now guys um you know but even that is just kind of fun to play you know what i mean i must have spent hours in the arena not not on this game you know because i have only just sort of picked it up but you, you know in, in fifa games down the years guys you know what i mean fifa 11 for example i remember spending hours in the arena i would rather just sit there and play the arena than the actual game some nights guys and just waste time in there but um yeah nice goal there by owen I'm not going to make, I don't think I'm going to, you know what, I might make one sub, let's make one sub guys, because I haven't actually done any subs in this game, um, let's see, who are we going to bring off, um, okay, so if you hit the right analogue, you can actually see their different stats for different players, and whatnot. so I guess that's pretty cool, let's see, who we got here, um, uh, I don't know, let's put in... I don't know, let's put right Phillips on. Let's put right Phillips on for Cole, I suppose. I mean, whatever. Throw him down the uh, right hand side there. As you can see, the graphics for the time, guys, uh, probably is good. Were the, the best you're going to get at, uh, back in the day. You know, you might not think they look that great nowadays, but they still look pretty good. And, um, you know, things just sort of improved from here. You know what I mean? FIFA 07 was absolutely brilliant. You know, FIFA 08 was amazing you know and then just things sort of went on from there but um, I do like how they've put a bit of, they have you know what I mean they haven't been lazy about it you know what I mean they have put some detail in there you know what I mean they've, they, you've got the managers and whatnot um, and everything to pretty much do with the qualifying you've got the sort of the the introductions are actually pretty good like the cutscenes with the um, the um, like the stadiums and whatnot they're actually pretty good um, you know and like, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, like, oh, here we go. Go on, Owen. Don't screw it up. Ah, oh, never mind. He screwed it anyway. Oh, wait, he's got it back. Oh, crap. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> and, oh, wait. Oh, hello. Wait, way. <laughs> um, you know, you've got some online play in there. You've got the actual sort of qualifying main mode itself you know you've got some achievements in there obviously um as well which i might go through you know if i played this game properly uh through the actual qualifying campaign um you know the music is a little bit lazy but then again you never know what they was able to get and what they weren't able to get and yeah i i would say it, it's not bad But um, yeah, like the, the like I said, the presentations are pretty much good. They have the national anthems. That was it. That's what I was going to say. They've got that in there as well. And oh, your mother! <laughs> I can't believe that. To be honest. And uh, and whatnot. So uh, yeah, it, it it's not it's not a half bad game, guys. And. Yeah, you know I mean the the gameplay. I don't know. There's something about the graphics, in my opinion, that kind of makes the gameplay better. Which is really, I know it's a really strange and odd thing to say that, but I don't know. It just makes me kind of want to play it a little bit more than usual. I don't really know how that that really makes sense, but yeah, that's just kind of something that I think. And it's, uh, it's very refreshing, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, and, and again, you have to go sort of back to the day and think and think about it. But, like, it's kind of refreshing to see something like this, you know what I mean? When when the title screen loads up, it actually says EA HD um, or HD Gaming or, some, or something to that effect. And it's like, yeah, wow. Um, so, yeah. And uh, yeah, like like I say, the gameplay the gameplay is not half bad. Oh, oh and the uh, the, the <laughs> oh, he's gone down. Um, the it, it just kind of like FIFA 06 is. I'm like I'm at the moment. I'm currently playing FIFA 06 on the original Xbox, 
and the headers in this game are quite overpowered. I mean, I am playing it on um, semi-pro just to you know ease myself into the game, but the the, the headers are a little bit overpowered. I have to say that. <laughs> so yeah, I wonder if we could actually get a header here. That would be kind of funny if we did. And no, we're not because that wasn't far enough. Um, yeah, I haven't really been like crossing the ball much in this um, this part, guys. In this uh, match, maybe we could cross it in here. And ah, I mean, you you, you see, what I mean, you, when you see a crossing from FIFA 06 on the original Xbox, and then see a crossing from this game, they do look similar. So, yeah, guys. Um, that will be it for this, just kind of a little taste of this game. Um, you know, I've only played something like uh, three games with it, but I've quite enjoyed it. I have actually quite enjoyed it. And Ashley Cole, who would have thought that? <laughs> he gets on the score sheet somehow. Um, so yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's about as much as I wanted to say about this game. I think just before we go, though... Um, we'll have a, just have a look. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so we've got the road to FIFA World Cup, obviously. So you can start a new game or load one. Game mode: all you've got is practice and tournament. So yeah, make what you will of that. Um, online, my FIFA is six. So you've got the the tracks. You can adjust the squads, set a favorite team. Mine is England, of course. I think the favorite team affects who you play in the arena with. Um, the game settings which you've already seen there's a few extras which is just credits and next gen preview and and that that's pretty much it guys so um, yeah guys oh and just before we go I'll just actually go over the team so as you can see here we've got the European top 20 so you've got like England France um, Netherlands Spain and all those to Italy whatever Turkey rest of Europe so all the other teams like Belarus here and Cyprus and etc a summary uh, wait a minute we got Faroe Islands. The San, Mar San Marino should be in this. There they are. Go on, San Marino. Good team. Good team. <laughs> and I'm not being sarcastic. I like San Marino. I, I feel bad for San Marino. I don't know. Um, rest of the world. So uh, you got like Australia, Argentina, Brazil, Iran, Japan, Sudan, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> USA. And then yeah, that's that's about it, guys. So. Um, yeah, not a bad game this guys. I just want to thank you for watching this small video. I can't wait to do some stuff in this game um, You know eventually and uh, I'll see you next time guys for more action in this game hopefully so um, yeah Thanks for watching guys comment rate subscribe and share as always see you next time take care